Right, just going to have a walk around Wilton Lodge Park, uh, have a look in here, I believe there's a museum, Hoyk Museum, cafe, so let's go and have a look. It's got the river uh, Tibiot right next to it, just here. And right opposite the car park you've got uh, Hoyt Community Hospital, just here. And the car park's just here, the camper vans. Town up there, Hoyk. So not too far away, out of town, the park. Just having a nose down here, see what's down here. I'll probably go back over the bridge again. Oh, let's take a walk down. Yeah, so the uh, this park, Wilton Park, it's only five minute walk from the uh, where the camper vans parked and uh, so that's quite handy and like I say you've got a hospital should you need it it's a little community one so can't see it being up to much but it's there if you ever need it I guess well let's carry on and have a little walk around the park I'll speak to you later bye nice uh, fountain just on the other side of the river I think that's the cafe. McLaren Bridge, officially opened by the pupils of Burnfoot Community School and Drum Lanrig, St Cuthbert's Primary School, as winners of the bridge naming competition the 7th of February 2018. Steve Hislop, the motorcycle racer. The sculpture was created by David Anand, dedicated to Hoik's modern day motorcycle ace. It was unveiled in October 2005 by British superbike champion John Reynolds. The Steve Hislop commemorative exhibition in Hoik Museum has much, has much more information about the life and career this Hoyk sporting hero and includes some of his bikes, motorcycle and leathers and trophies. So this was the great Steve Hislop. Statue was unveiled October the 1st 20, 2005 by British Superbike champion John Reynolds. Yeah. Rest in peace. This is a list of all his uh, victories and other major victories. I don't know if you can read that. It was right back to 1987. Do a little bit of a wipe, a little bit of a clean.
well, it's a fitting memorial to him and here we have this fountain that I saw from the other side of the river I'm not quite sure what the house is or what it's called let's go up, uh, uh, that could be the museum actually this fountain was bequeathed to the borough by Gilbert Davidson Esquire banker in How uh, Howick in 1896 it's a nice part of the park actually nice gardens the Gilbert Davidson fountain this cast iron fountain was built in 1897 funded by a local man Gilbert Davidson 1883 to 1896 it was built by McDowell, Stephen and Co, a specialist Glasgow firm who had already created a bandstand for the park. In 2018 the fountain was restored and the area around it freshly landscaped as part of the Wilton Lodge Regeneration Project. So that must be a Wilton Lodge. That's nice, the well with all the uh, poppies all around it. Be a wishing well. Bill McLaren, the voice of rugby, spent 49 years as a sports commentator for the sport and was famed for his unique turn of phrases. Public subscriptions and local company donations paid for his bronze bus to be made by Beltane Shields in February 2013 over the bridge. The bridge over the river Tiviet beside the cafe is also named after Bill McLaren. Yeah, I recognise him. Born, I think, 19, 16th of October 1925, and died 19th of January 2010. Yeah, had a good old life. Let's take a walk up and see if we can find the waterfall. First, we've got a memorial over here. In 2017, to mark the 100th anniversary of the Battle of Paschendiel, ten silhouettes were erected on the Fresenberg Ridge, Zonenbank, Flanders, in Belgium. They stand beside the Scottish memorial that commemorates all Scots who fought in the Flanders in the Great War. These are the plates from which three of the silhou silhouettes were cut. Piper funded uh, by public subscription and the international piping community. Yeah. You can see the uh, the piper on the left hand side, just uh, there. The State Secretary, the Secretary of State Robert Munro unveiled the Hoyk War Memorial in October 1921. The award-winning memorial was designed by architect James B. Dunn and the statue had been previously ex exhibited by the Royal Scottish Academy in Edinburgh. View the, t the, uh, view the town's Royal of Honour and find out more about the people of Hoyk 
in wartime Hoyt Museum. Very nice uh, war memorial. Great man himself, Steve Hislop. So many of these uh, motorcycle riders, they lose their lives at a very young age. It's really sad. I mean, where I'm from, Northern Ireland, you've got Joey Dunlop, the Dunlop fam family. They've lo lost loads every year. One of their family gets killed. All his uh, leathers there that he's used to wear. The Isle of Man flag next to the uh, the old Scottish. Oh, my mind's gone blank at the moment. I can't think of the name of it. Saltire. Is it Saltire? Yeah. I've never ever been to the Isle of Man TT. I've been to Isle of Man, but I've never been to the TT. It's one thing I've always wanted to to do. Wow, these bikes. Sorry about the reflections, but let's see if we can get back here and can see better. Yeah, beautiful bikes. Too scary for me, I'm afraid. <laughs> Wow, this is an old one. Well, it's a sport they love doing. They know the risks and, uh, you know, it's sad. Well, this is known as the domestic room. miniature uh, crockery and stuff a harp there in the corner turn here. Imagine that you just spin round and make your butter. Oh it's got a handle on the side, didn't see that just down there. So you turn that handle, churn the milk or the cream and make your butter. room. Oh, I used to have a phone like this. <laughs> wow. Not really. <laughs> Are you joking? I remember these little shovels when I was in the army.
Wow, these are the first uh, curling stones. Seventeen seventy-two. They go back as far uh, as far back as. Wow. I think in Scotland they were famous for curling. I think they invented it, didn't they? This brings back memories, these little desks. <laughs> How many people remember these? Got your old inkwell just there. You used to put your pencils and pen pencils there. Wow. <laughs> so remember sitting at them. memories eh? Let's go upstairs, have a look up here. racing legend Jamie Guthrie. I must admit I don't, uh, his name doesn't ring a bell with me. That must have been his motorbike. 1936, it's an AJS Stevens, or yeah AJS Stevens. Uh, all his achievements, all his wins. If anybody's in the region at Hoi, can I definitely recommend a visit here. Really, really uh, well worth it. Big art gallery. Make a great studio for uh, portrait photography. Get my portrait lens out. Get a model down there. Some nice photographs. Admit, no, I'm not really into modern art like this. Splashes of paint, and I don't really, I don't really get it. <laughs> it's nice though, but it's not my, not my thing. It's called the Scott, Gal the Scott Gallery. Here we have the Waterfall Gallery. Nice pictures. And see the uh, War Memorial just outside.
There's a weapon I used to use when I was in the Army Cadets, the old Lee Enfield, aka 303, 7.62 bullets, one of the best rifles ever made. If you couldn't hit the target of that rifle, you couldn't hit anything. Kick like a mule. <laughs> and Victoria Cross, I think it's her replica. Just see what number seven says. Uh, Victoria Cross, yeah, it is a replica. The highest military decoration award to three men from Hoig and District Private Edward Spence and General Sir John Irvin Murray, both Indian Rebellion in 1858, and John Dakins, born Ormiston Farm, First World War, 1918. A little walk up here to the uh, waterfall. Quite a nice little feature up to the waterfall just there behind me. So I'm gonna walk back down here. I've got some drink with me. I'm gonna sit in the sun. Yeah, the sun's come out now, typical. So I'll sit down here. I've got some drink with me. Uh, I'll have a little drink. Seems to be a lot more people on the bow. Whether they were all sat in the cafe earlier, I don't know, but there seems to be more people around. <sighs> Just heading back down to the towards the memorial. There's some benches around there where I can sit. Well, just chilling out here in the park with the flies. Leave me alone. Get away. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. So I've got my drink um, with me. Got some juice in it. And just chill out for a bit. Relax and uh, enjoy the the nice scenery Got the house and out just there so, 
Yeah, it's been a lovely day today. I had a little, had a walk around town early this morning. Had some breakfast in Weatherspoons and a nice Scottish breakfast. A bit different to the ones you get in England. You have to pay for the black pudding in England. It's an extra 99p, I think. Here you get it included in your breakfast. But then they do a thing called a potato scone. It's kind of square. It looks like, I'll give you an idea, it looks like a Greg steak bake. Looks something like that. But it's just like a scone type thing. Very light. But, um, but nice, it was alright. So it went down well anyway. Uh, yeah, so this is, this is nice. Right, I'll catch you later. Bye, have a good day and take care. Don't forget to give me a, a like and a subscribe. Leave a comment. Always nice to hear from people. And uh, have a good day. Bye. I love the way they uh, immortalize their heroes up here. Uh, Jimmy, statue of Jimmy Guthrie, the motorcycle. Eight, eight motorcycle uh, racer, 1897, 1937. The world famous motorcycle ace who was killed at Hohenstein. Er, Earth install <laughs> whilst racing in the German Grand Prix 8th of August in 1937 yeah it really is a lovely park this Got lots of nice statues nice walks greenery a little putting green just here I don't know if you can see the pegs on the uh, on the film but yeah the sign there saying keep off the grass so it's a little golf course a little putting green the statue uh, commemorates the Boer War uh, it was a military sculpture, William Burney Rind was unveiled in 1903 by Field Marshal Roberts, Commander-in-Chief of the British Army. It commemorates local men who died in South Africa during the War of 1899 to 1902. The mo memorial has been restored as part of the Wilton Lodge Park Re Regeneration Project. Yeah, you can't really see it because the sun's right behind. He's got the glare, the flare in the uh, on the phone. Better got the sun behind the uh, soldier. It's got a kids uh, skate park over there, uh, like a BMX park as well. Quite a big, large park. This this Wilton Lodge Park, massive. Like I say, I've never seen a park with so many statues in it. It's nice. I like it. Lovely bandstand as well, nice and clean, well, you know, painted up and kept clean. More information for you. I hope I'm not boring you with all this. Uh, in 2015, a new bandstand was erected, recreating the Victorian original. It was named the Zandra Elliott Bandstand after the Hoyk Honorary Provost who died in 2014 and is once again used as a venue for concerts and events.